Standing with me here at the Pretoria High Court uh, is uh, Attorney Zahir uh, Umar representing the, applic uh, the applicants in the court case uh, of the opening of the Masajid versus the President. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, uh, uh, Attorney Zahir. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Attorney, please give us your thoughts on today's proceedings. Look, the sources of our law inside the government are common law, case law, constitution, and court cases. The proceedings today were televised. The judge was not wearing a mask. The president's advocates, two of them, for most of the proceedings, were not wearing a mask. Advocate Baum SC, at some point, was not wearing a mask. I was not wearing a mask. Inside court, there were clearly more than 25 people. But then, a gathering is prohibited in terms of the, re of the regulations of between two or more people, and unless there is, they are one meter apart. So the proceedings today reveal that the judge accepts that the word gathering is open to interpretation. Using the precedent, or using what happened in court on Tuesday and today, Tarawih, inshallah, continues, Salah with Jamaat continues, and anyone in this country who is charged criminally or otherwise, I will offer my services free of charge. I want to emphasize the judges allowing for a congregation in her court, whole of Tuesday and whole of today, is setting a precedent that there are certain circumstances where this gathering is allowed. So the attitude and the conduct of the judge itself is an expression of the victory of the relief we sought to, to perform Salah with Jamaat in congregation. Uh, Attorney Zahir, what do you think the outcome of today's uh, proceedings will be and when can we expect the outcome? And I said before, the outcome of Battle of Badr and Battle of Uhud. You know, Allah, Allah communicates with human beings through signs. There are signs, you look and you see, you listen and you hear. Now, isn't there enough signs? Hasn't Allah on the eve of the month, holy month of Ramadan given us signs? Isn't the signs of the events at court confirmation that Salah can indeed be performed with Jamaah? That's the answer. Let me come in there. I just want to find out, are you saying that uh, people can make uh, Salah with Jamaat from today? Is that what you're saying? I want to say unequivocally. Maybe I was misunderstood, you know. I am saying to all South Africans, engage in worship in congregation. To my fellow Muslim brothers and sisters, <laughs> continue making Salah with Jamaat. In the masjid. In the, I want to say, I repeat, my brother interrupted me. I am saying to all the Muslims in South Africa, you may perform Salah in Jamaa in the masjids. And my authority for that is the proceedings before the learned judge on Tuesday and today. What is a Jamaa? A congregation. All viewers, Muslims, did you see with your eyes the congregation, the Jamaa in court? Did you see one meter social dis distan distancing? Did you see, if I may, the Imam, the female judge, wearing a mask? I was there, I did not see it. Throughout the proceedings, the president's advocates and advocates, including Advocate Baum, intermittently wore the mask and did not wear the mask. And we are told by the medical profession that the virus spreads very quickly and gets into you quickly. So the conduct of the judge and the manner in which the proceedings were conducted is confirmation that Muslims in South Africa may make salah in congregation in a masjid as of now. Anyone who is approached, charged, please, I offer my services with the help of Allah, free of charge to that person. Anything else? 
Uh, one last question. In terms of the social distancing that uh, your clients have spoken about, um, will, will social distancing mean uh, shoulder to shoulder in Salah or will we have a gap between the, the congregants or how, what exactly is meant by social distancing in a masjid environment? You see, this question too comes to, with respect, our understanding of the Holy Quran and Hadith. But the verse in the Quran concerning signs is clear in my respectful view. No? Allah communicates with human beings through signs. Now we're talking about the question was concerning social distancing. The example is given to us by the court proceedings itself. You, you saw the proceedings live on TV. What was the distance between the people sitting in court? Was it as close or closer as it is during the performance of Salah with Jama? You saw for yourself? So what I'm telling you, <laughs> my Muslim brothers and sisters, you continue making Salah with Jama in the Masjid. Sisters, you are Hanafi, you make your Salah, Alhamdulillah, at home. No? Those Masjids that provide for separate entrances, Alhamdulillah, you continue. But to answer your question unequivocally, the precedent as to what should happen on the eve of Ramadan is set by the learned judge herself. And the answer is clear. Congregation gathering is not prohibited. It was not prohibited for the court proceedings for Tuesday and today. It cannot be prohibited for performance of Salah with Jama'ah.